Hello everyone, I'm here to uh, continue on for part two of uh, this uh, word. Wash your hands, the powers that be tell you every single day on the nightly news. Spend at least 30 seconds on each finger of your hands and on your palms and the back of your hands. Do this repeatedly throughout the day if you want to live. So your acceptance of the ritual mask wearing alchemy alchemically begins creating the new you the initiated servant moving from his old position into the new and your ritual washing of hands as you symbolically albeit unconsciously washing away your old position your old master and his prescribed ways in anticipation of your new master and his it's that simple hand washing is the occult ritualistic symbol of rejection. When you fall for the hand-washing ritual, you're symbolically washing away your old life under Christ in willing acceptance of your new life under the new order of the enemy and his many antichrists who have been pulling off this coup from the start. The social distancing ritual. So if the mask masking ritual signal one's consent to change this symbolizes loss of one's previous sovereign position as a faithful Christian carrying forth God's word, and the hand-washing ritual symbolizes the washing away of the old Christian order so the new order can be ushered in. What does the social distancing ritual signify? This one's almost too easy to spot. Right off the bat, the use of the magical number six, as in six feet apart, should set your spidey senses on edge, meaning, of course, your God-given discernment. After all, there's no more widely used occult number in the world than the number six. As you know, the Antichrist's very number is 603 score and six. The powers that be assure us that if we'll all walk six feet apart, we won't catch coronavirus. Do you really need me to explain why that's a bunch of hogwash? Are you not aware that we are already around millions of viruses in every breath of air you take? No matter where you walk, those viruses are there. Somewhere between 1.6 million to 40 million viruses in every cubic meter of air we pass through as we walk. So no matter how far apart from others you walk, those viruses are there. You can't escape them, except perhaps in a full-blown hazmat suit with an air tank that you'd need to leave running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So much like mask wearing, social distancing is a lie. It cannot possibly work. We're being forced to participate in it. But why would they do so? And if it can't really help against viruses, what's its occult purpose? Well, try this on for size. Each of us are individual but integral parts of the many-membered body of Christ. We don't just walk with Christ. True Christians walk in Christ. And that's in Colossians 2, verses 6 and 7. But symbolically speaking, the ritual of social distancing at the magical six feet apart is the part of the initiation ritual that separates you from Christ. Rather than walking in him as his personal representative on this earth, you're now symbolically and ritualistically separated from him, like Kevin Bacon and his six degrees of separation, six feet from the Father, six feet from the Son, six feet from the Holy Spirit. Yes, that's your triple sixes. The occult ramifications are undeniable, but that's not all. Each individual Christian must remain six feet away from all other Christians. Do you understand what the powers that be are doing, ritualistically and symbolically? Let me explain it. As a member of the body of Christ, you are supposed to be an integral part of the whole body, fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, as it's written in Ephesians 4 verse 16. The term fitly joined together in the above verse means joined, joint to joint, or close jointed, 
the word compacted in the above verse means united. In other words, Christians are supposed to come together, sinew to sinew, and joint to joint, tightly united in the body of Christ, and through preaching his word were to help bring others into the tightly knit body to help the body grow. But the occult ritual initiation rule of six feet of separation symbolically neutralizes this command. Remember, this is a form of occult magic. Symbols are everything in occult magic. It puts arbitrary man-made distance between those who are supposed to have no distance at all between them. It rips the metaphorical body of Christ apart at the seams. Symbolically speaking, it separates the joints and sinews that are supposed to be so tightly knit together. But as a well-studied and faithful Christian, you know there's absolutely nothing on this earth that can separate you from the love of Christ. In Romans 8, verses 35 through 39. And that especially includes some stupid occult ritual. Nevertheless, ritual occult magic is what the powers that be do. They glory in it. Their Kabbalah is full of it. It's what they've done for thousands of years. In other words, it's what they sincerely believe in, and it's what they want us to buy into without critical thought. Centuries ago, they brought their occult ritual, Kabbalistic magic all the way back from Babylon. Now they've opened the ancient books and they're unleashing the rituals in the final days of this flesh earth age. And the worst part is this, it's actually working. People are falling for it because of the sheer depth and breadth of the deception. And all of this over a virus with a 98.5% survival rate. Talk about putting people into a global trance. In the end of the ritual of forced social distancing, it's designed to symbolically negate or neutralize God's word in a multitude of ways by eliminating fellowship between believers, by stopping church services worldwide, causing church pastors to be cited or arrested for holding church services, causing faithful congregants to be cited or arrested for attending church services, by symbolically tearing apart the mystical and metaphorical body of Christ, which is supposed to be fitly joined together and compacted, in Amos 3, verse 3, the prophet asks a very simple question. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Well, two Christians can't walk together if the powers that be force them to walk six feet apart. We're building a many-membered body, folks. A living temple of Christ, with each brick pressed up against the next like the sinews running through your physical body as it's written in 1 Peter 2, verse 5. But you can't put together a many-membered body, a living temple of God on earth, if you can't press the bricks up close to each other in the building process. You know what happens when there are gaps in the seams between the bricks. It gives the rats an easy way to get into the temple. The bottom line is that the social distancing ritual is symbolically designed to physically and spiritually limit the impact of Christianity on this earth and put a halt to the growth of the many-membered body of Christ in the final days of this flesh earth age. It's a very clever ritual. But here's one thing the powers that be have overlooked. What therefore God hath joined together let not man put asunder. Matthew 19, verse 6. God has been putting together his many-membered body in Christ for some 2,000 years now, and we've all worked hard to help build it further. So that's our command for these times. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. And we follow that command by exposing the occult rituals of the powers that be. We stop participating in the global rituals and their components, and we resume our work for the Lord. We walk together in Christ, tightly knit, never six feet apart, 
physically or spiritually. And whatever you do, don't let the Karens of this world get your goat on social distancing either. It's not their business where or how you walk, your walk in the Lord. But always know that these thoroughly addled, out-of-work hall monitors are out there and they despise you for your choice of not consenting to the new order. Stay home, stay safe, save lives. That's what we're being told anyway. Yet a recent study of New York area hospitals demonstrates that a whopping 66% of all coronavirus hospitalizations have been among people who wore masks, washed their hands, practiced six feet of separation, and stayed home. In other words, the vast majority of the hospitalizations were among people who followed the rules, prompting the Daily Mail to ask in a headline news article, does lockdown even work? So in, in finishing this, it just says here, there are basically four stages to an isolation ritual. Stage one, isolation for purification. You're cut off from the normal and thrust into a new normal. That's completely different than your past life. Stage two, surrender to the new normal. This often involves being given a token, a gift, think, stimulus check, leading the initiate, initiate believe he is being well taken care of by his new overlords, so there's no need to rebel against the new order one is being initiated into. Stage three, sacrifice. No gift can be given without something being taken. In this case, your dignity your sovereign independence, your voice, your individual power on this earth as a representative of the word of the Most High God. All of these things and more are being taken from you in exchange for the cold comfort of a new way in a new world. And stage four, submission, think, mandatory vaccines, social tracing, the willing acceptance of new rules for new world order. Once again, the idea is that the new person being initiated into the new order needs to be psychologically, if not physically, purged of the old way before gradually being initiated into the new way. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at this. I believe we all get the point here. That was the main stuff I wanted to share with everyone. Again, I have the link to this posted in the comment section on the first part of this video. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.